villages, then you need a strong, strong vehicle that has good shock absorbers, or you need to just get a Benzikin, you know, and do like the others. You know, you cannot go there and you pretend as if you are a lady. No lady there. There you climb the Benzikin, you jump on it. Okay. But as we said, it doesn't stop the many tourists each day or each year from flooding that village. So you understand that. Come. We'll be talking something else. The Yaoundé FM 94 will be celebrating 20 years of existence. 20 that this station has been fetching money for CRTV. <laughs> <laughs> all right. it's, it's the number one station. All of you, you know that. When you want to listen to good music, good commentaries, fun time and everything, you tune the Yaoundé FM 94 station and you get everything you need. I will not be talking about that alone. I will be talking it with the deputy station manager of Yaoundé FM 94 and that is Madame Ebude Ekane. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. You look as beautiful as your, your, your station. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right. Um, can, I, can we just have, first of all, the objective of the Young FM 94 so that people could situate themselves to understand what the station is all about? Like any, any other radio station, FM 94 is out <laughs> to inform, mm -hmm. to educate, and to entertain. Okay. And like you said, FM 94 is the mother FM station in Cameroon. All right. You We're celebrating 20 years of, of our existence. Sorry. Now, the general manager of CRTV, Amadou Valmuke, he launched activities yesterday. yesterday the radio. Good. Now, what will these activities be all about? Uh, yesterday, at the radio station, the general manager of CRTV, Amadou Valmuke, launched the commemorative activities mm. to mark the event. And we've, uh, uh, we've pla programmed the activities to run for the whole week. Mm. So yesterday, Monday, the 30th of uh, uh, November, we had uh, the, the day reserved for management to tell us about the vision of CRTV Yaoundé FM94, what we are doing and what we could do to improve. Today, Tuesday, the 1st of December, has been reserved for our sponsors or for our, <coughs> yeah, for our sponsors. You know, FM94 is a commercial station. Of course. And we have uh, uh, people who come to, uh, those of the commercial service, you have people who come there to uh, advertise their goods and mm -hmm. services. So we have to work today with our partners or our sponsors because they have to tell us what we are doing, which is right, and what they don't like okay. so that we could make uh, some corrections. The day of Wednesday has been reserved for our listeners. You know, without them, we can't do anything. Exactly. So we have many fans out there. The doors will be open for all those who want to visit CRTV on the FM 94 on Wednesday to come to the radio to wish us a happy anniversary and to tell us maybe about some programs they would like, to, like us to include on our program mm -hmm. schedule. And the day of Thursday has been reserved for the pioneers. That's those who were there at the beginning of the station. Mm. Because most of us were not there. Of course. People like <laughs> Julie Nimgong, yeah. uh, Lena Chatelain, mm. uh, Jacques Logmo, and others will be there to tell us about the experiences. They lived the experiences mm. 20 years ago. So exactly. they'll be there to tell us about what happened. And then on that Thursday, we're going to crown the event with a gala night. Wow, I like that part. The gala night, people are going to enjoy themselves. And we also have uh, raffle tickets. And the person who is going to win is going to have a free ticket from Douala to Paris and back, offered by one of our sponsors. Wow. How do you get those tickets? The tickets will be sold there at the broadcasting house and also at... I would give you the price. Just come there. <laughs> it's affordable. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and of course, on Friday, we're going to have the artist who we'll, we'll reserved the, the day of Friday, the 4th of December, for the artist because, you know, we are purely a musical station. Of course. And without the artist, we can't function. So of we course. said we, could, we should reserve a day for the artist. We'll All be right. there to tell us about their vision for FM94, what they want us to include, what's new. So, so it's if a, we want a, to get good all the new releases for one week. And FM94 is for the youths. You know, we are yeah. a station. You know, lots of young people would like to identify themselves mm. with CRTV around the FM94. We are also a radio of proximity. All you right. know, we always like to go out to meet our target audience. Of That's course. why each time we, we always go out to have our station broadcast. They only hear us on radio, but they will go out on our they station broadcast. They see you and it's different. They see us on TV and it's different and... 
and they relate, you they know, relate with us all right. much more better. Oh, thank and you very much. And the event has been placed under the theme CRTV on the FM 94. Already 20 years, the show goes on. Wow, the, the show, show goes, goes on. on. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ebude Ekane. Thank you very much. I wish you a lot of luck. Thank and I you believe very that much. this event is going to be a success. Yes, yeah, it is. All right. And the show goes on the show in goes on. CRTV and on Halo. Mm -hmm. And this time we'll be taking our cameras to Lycom. Lycom is the first settlement of the Com people. That is where the present palace, the Fonts Palace, is found. It's found in Lycom. The first settlement of the Kom people when they left, um, when they separated from Babisi and they came down to Kom, they settled in uh, Laikom and the Kom people were led by Nandong and when she reached that area, when she arrived there, she had a son, a son rather, Jenabo, who became the first fawn of the Kom people in Laikom. So let's go visit the area the area where the Kom people first settled when they arrived Kom. A lucky girl. Here am I standing in front of the Kom Palace. Look at it, it's so beautiful. That's the entrance there. Wow. But let me give you a little historical fact. Do you know that the Germans came to the Kom Palace in 1905? We'll be discovering the beautiful buildings and the stories behind them. And we'll begin by the stone over there. Do you see that stone? Yes. Below it is a grave, and that grave holds a story. In the early days, virgins were not allowed to have lovers or get married before a traditional festival called the Fumbang. And if any virgin did that, she was going to be severely punished. And one brave virgin did that, and she did that with one unlucky man, because the virgin was not punished, but the man was punished. He was buried alive there. And that is the grave. The stone over is over his head. He was buried alive. Spooky. Let's visit the Kum Palace. That's the entrance there. I'm your tourist for the day. So elegantly dressed, I'm going to take you through the Fons Palace. And moving majestically down the stairs, you see this entrance here? This is the ladies' entrance. The entrance for the queens, the princesses, for the women exclusively. It's called the Antuze, if I got it right. Only women pass through here. No guys around here the guys go up the hill because they can climb so let's go down like the ladies do and over here look at the stones they are beautiful look at the walls of the houses they're made from mud those are mud bricks and i love them they are so fascinating to look at and over here this is another historical ground this is the Ntui, where the fun rests if you look inside there, there's like a little throne with a plant on top. That plant is so beautiful. That's where the fun comes to rest when he wants to relax. And this also serves as the traditional courtroom. Here, traditional disputes are solved. Like the one we're hearing right there, if it gets too bad, it will be solved here. Traditional disputes like land disputes, all the problems inside here. The fun will sit there and the cases will be brought. And any case with a guilty person found, that person will be taken to the court and punished severely.